What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another video now. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. This video is not positive. Um, it's actually kind of negative. It, it happened yesterday, bro. You feel me? So, today is a new day. Um, you guys will see in the outro. I also recorded this morning when I was more calm. But I, when I was going to go, you know what I mean, edit the video and whatnot, I noticed I was really pissed off. Um, and, you know what I'm saying, you guys would be too. Uh, you know, if your steering wheel just up and broke out of nowhere, you feel what I'm saying? So basically what happened was, let me give you guys some context. Um, on the 5th and Camaro, there's been a, there's been a recall actually for this reason. On the 5th and Camaro, if you got the automatic version, you got the paddle shifters. Now with the paddle shifters, um, you know, you had the option of getting paddle shifter extensions. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, make them a little bigger than what they are because they're pretty small. Um, for what they are, you know, so it'd be easy access for you to, you know, reach them and stuff like that. So I went ahead and I got the extensions for my paddle shifters. Um, now the recall on this car, as you guys know, I know you guys know the, inf the infamous Chevy flip key. You feel me? You push the little button on the key fob and the key flips out like a, like a uh, pocket knife, you know what I'm saying? So that key actually got recalled. I know you guys have seen the newer keys where it's like a fob and then one of those like you know if you have like a, a shop truck or something like that they give you like the little key it's one of those keys so you have the key that goes in the ignition and the fob but the fob the fob is separate from the actual key you feel what i'm saying um and the reason why they did that is because people would be turning and their paddle shifter extensions would actually catch the key and turn the car off while turning now, I know that sounds insane, right? You feel me? Like, what the hell? How is that even, you know what I'm saying? They shouldn't even be able to do that. Like, why is this something that we're going through right now? You feel me? So basically, in this situation, the same thing happened to me with my car. Except instead of the paddle shifter extension catching on to the key, it caught on to the window wiper actuator and when it caught on to it while i was turning as the wheel was turning back to straighten back out it got caught on this right here and ended up yanking not the window wiper stock my bad the turn signal stock and ended up yanking it clean off as you guys have seen um and we'll see in the rest of the video the reason for me getting on here right now and talking to you guys before i actually wrote the clip is because i just wanted to give you guys a fair warning i was very upset it had already been a long day so there may or may not be a whole bunch of cuss words in the next couple of clips i do apologize um it wasn't like intentional or anything like that it's just it's through the heat of the moment you feel me and i keep everything you guys already know I don't cover up nothing I keep everything full transparent with you guys so I picked up the camera as soon as it happened so this is my honest um, and instant reaction what is up y'all welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions this is your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another video for y'all in today's video, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I pissed the fuck off because. Notice anything missing, guys? Y'all will notice anything missing? Oh, hey! Doctor! Well, what's up, brother? Where the fuck are you, huh? This shit is crazy, bro. This, uh... Well, y'all, as y'all can see, Entire fucking paddle shifter just came the fuck out the steering wheel. I don't know how the fuck this shit fucking happens. I've seen this once before on somebody's Instagram. I don't understand, bro. I literally was just turning and that bitch fucking, I guess it got stuck on this shit or some shit and just pulled my shit completely off. And if you guys know, this is a part of the fucking steering wheel. So, since that shit is cracked right there, that fucking plastic, thanks, Chevy. It's not like I can just put this shit back on and be fine. I'm pretty sure if I was to get it to get back on, it would just fall off again. Or it probably wouldn't even fucking shift. So isn't that just great? So, what this means now is that I need to buy a new fucking steering wheel. 
So yeah, I'm so fucking super happy about this stupid ass shit. Fuck, man. I'ma just I'ma cut this camera on when I'm when I'm more calm, cause right now I'm pissed the fuck off. It's been a long day. Alright, y'all, as you guys can see, it is now the next day. Um I'm finally a little more calm now. I didn't had a chance to breathe and uh, regroup and reassess. With that being said, I did a little uh, shopping and I found a steering wheel that I'm rocking with. It's a nice flat bottom joint, um, carbon fiber of course. But I'm torn and I need you guys' help in the comment section down below. I don't feel like it's worth getting the the LED lights that go on the top of these. Um, I don't know. I just feel like those are for like, you know what I'm saying, manual cars and whatnot. And I definitely have an automatic. So it's like, what's the point of me having a shift light if I'm not shifting? You know what I'm saying? So I personally feel like, I, I don't know. I don't feel like getting, you know what I'm saying, the lights. Yeah, that would be cool. But it's just two main things that are stopping me. One, installation um and then two when my homeboy had his his would tweak out and shit and like so sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't now that could be installer error but yeah i just i don't know for you feel me i don't know so y'all let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to go ahead and get the led joint or not i'm still kind of upset about the fact that this really did happen you know what i'm saying that's insane to me like there's literally nothing there i can't downshift at all like at all there's no there's no downshifting anymore so until we get this steering wheel replaced i'll be stuck in driving in drive mode or dropping it down to sport but still having to let it shift on its own the only thing i can do is upshift so this shit is crazy to be honest with y'all um, y'all let me know down in the comment section down below has this ever happened to y'all you guys know a way to fix it if so please let me know if you don't feel comfortable dropping a comment for some odd reason go ahead hit me up on instagram send me a dm let me know or drop a comment on one of the posts or something like that you feel me any way possible reach out to me and let me know what you guys did to fix y'all because i'm pretty sure you can't fix it because it's plastic but if you guys did you know what i'm saying when there's a will there's a way so if you guys did i really appreciate it let me know but without further ado y'all that's gonna be it for this video if you're new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button make sure you turn on those post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below and just stay tuned man because i got a whole bunch of crazy content coming for you guys i'll see y'all in the next one peace also go tap in with me on tiktok <laughs>